Hi, so we're here today to take a look at the FOSS Milka Scan FT3, the all new Milka Scan, brand new technology, lots of real new features and benefits to talk about, and we'll just quickly through, show you through some of them now. The new instrument has an intelligent flow system, now based on two syringe pumps to pump the products through the cuvette. That means with syringe pumps, we can cope with much more viscous samples and also we don't get any homogenizer wear. We don't need to standardize an instrument and equalize a cuvette because the instrument auto, auto standardizes every two hours on the zero setting. The zero is now a gold mine of information that we use with our chemometrics and smart analytics of the FT3. As you can see, the zero and clean bottles are now coloured to help the operator to see which is which, but also now there's diagnostics in there that will alert the operator if they have the clean and zero mixed up. On the instrument, we have a variety of calibrations. The instrument comes as standard with a basic milk, cream and whey calibration. Additional calibrations are available for yogurt and fermented products, formulated uh, fortified milks, concentrated milks, concentrated whey products, extra adulteration screening module, and ice creams and desserts finishes off the calibrations for the really thick products. What we see is this instrument is now running the, on the all new Nova platform, giving a very clear layout and also standardizes across the range of products that, that some of our instruments are now all running on the same, same software. Also, the instrument is connectable to the internet that gives transferability because every Milka Scan FT3 is the same out the factory. You can now calibrate one instrument in a network and send that calibration to multiple networks. So in a large dairy company with lots of sites and lots of milk analyzers, that can give you some great savings. If you want to have a chat about Milk Scan FT3, just contact one of your local FOSS representatives.